Joining us now is Michael Jackson's former attorney, Tom Mesro. Mr. Mesro, good morning. Good to see you again this morning. Morning. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, what is the most damning piece of evidence against Dr. Murray? Well, first of all, uh, I think propofol is not a prescription pill. It's not like prescribing a sleep pill, a depression pill, an anti-anxiety pill. Propofol is a powerful, very dangerous drug. It doesn't come in pill form, and it never should be in the home. I think the prosecutors have to distinguish propofol from other prescription medications. Second of all, the thing that seems very incriminating to me is that apparently this doctor, a physician in charge of Michael Jackson's health, never told the paramedics at the scene about propofol, never told the police at the scene about propofol. Then he went to the hospital where they were trying to revive Michael Jackson, and he still didn't mention propofol. To me, that indicates consciousness of guilt. He knew what he did was wrong. The defense, though, they'll put Michael Jackson's lifestyle uh, on trial here. His former drug abuse, things of that nature, is that going to come into play here? And how, uh, I guess, how damning will that be for the prosecution? Well, they have to be very careful how they do that because, you know, Michael Jackson was the most loved celebrity on the planet. Uh, people are enjoying his music and his legacy more and more. He's a very popular person. And if you try to devalue him or degrade him too much in front of his family, particularly, it's going to backfire. Do you However, they will, they will try to say he was in poor health because of other pre prescription drug abuse, I think. Do you have to put Murray on the stand, do you feel? I think they'll wait till the last minute. If they think the case is going reasonably well, they won't. If they don't, they'll put him on, and I think he's going to go through a real grilling on why a physician would not tell the paramedics, the police, and the hospital personnel about propofol. How about the kids? Any chance that the kids, Michael Jackson's children, may have to take the stand here since they were there on that day? You know, there's always a chance. I saw these children a couple of weeks ago at Children's Hospital in Los Angeles where they donated some of Michael Jackson's sketches. They're, they're lovely looking kids. They're really growing uh, just so fast, I can't believe it. If they testify, it's not going to be good for the defense. Yeah, the parents, I know Catherine plans to be there uh, for each and every day of the trial. Are they, I know you've spoken with them. Are they prepared for the graphic nature of like autopsy photos and some of the things that they're going to be subject to during this? I spoke to Catherine one time about it, and I actually cautioned her about it, and uh, she's determined. You know, she was there every day of the trial in 2005, where I was lead counsel, and she had a tremendous impact on the jury. She's a lovely, spiritual, very unostentatious person. You feel her power and her love, and it's, she's going to help the prosecution. All right, Tom Mezzaro, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it.